Hey everybody, it's Matt Rendar. Just wanted to do a little quick tour of my uh, game room hangout spot. So just came down. Sorry, when you come down the stairs, I got you know some some military stuff that's really cool. And then um, on this side, this is my boys hangout spot slash game. So I got the TVs, I got the Xboxes, I got some some of my artwork. Got Steel Battalion, what? And the, the old Xbox. And so, got some couches, and some stuff. Pretty cool. We did went for the industrial look. So we got the uh, painted ceiling and the hi -hat. It's pretty cool. But I'll show you what you guys really came in. Check out, so. This is my new gaming table. This is my little gaming space over here, so. Got this awesome custom game table, seven by four. Really cool. Bar height, got some stools. And I cover it, got it covered to uh, protect it. Have some of my artwork. If you guys ever get a chance, check me out on Instagram, Matt Rendar. For more of my cool artwork, I got this cool picture signed by uh, Robert O'Neill. Guy killed uh, Osama bin Laden, pretty cool. Got alien poster I did this awesome uh, old school love this picture John Sabak um, Rogue Trader art print really cool one of my favorite pieces of art love those crimson fist fighting so just cleaned up had a <clears throat> was playing an awesome board game last night Nemesis really cool but this is a great space for like war gaming and any tabletop stuff I do Here's my, uh, this is my little corner over here. I'll show you. So, I have my Titanfall Special Edition 1. Let's see if this works. Oh. Can't find the button. Here's the button. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Lights up. Very cool. So, that was from Titanfall 1, and then this is Titanfall 2. Pretty awesome. Really cool that came in the collectors and makes noise and stuff. Very cool. This is a 40K frag grenade prop. Really cool. I'll show you my cases. So I have a nice smattering of uh, war game stuff in here. So I have most of the armies are all put away, but I just want to give a cool, like, have a little show off in the display case. So this is uh, my Imperial Guard, some of them. This is, uh, I got some Russes. I got a 3D printed um, Warhound Titan. My friend Eric was very cool and did for me. Got super heavy. Bane Blade, Valkyrie. Really cool. So, just, so I got this case on Amazon. And got the LED lights and set it up. Got some assassins in there. Really cool. These are my Colonial Marine looking guardsmen. Some inquisitors and commissars. On the second shelf, I got some my ultramarines, some primaris uh, lieutenants, and eradicators, and all different types of stuff. Grab his armor. I love these guys. Got the land raider, Prim primus uh, redeemer, dreadnought, marnius caliger. I have a squad of uh, some Carcadon Marines. I'm going to do a little contingent of those. Got some um, custodians in the back there. A cool statue. Then I have my Nids down. Some Nids. Really cool. Huge fan of the Hive Tyrant. Got my Swarm Lord. Really cool. Did them in that Aliens Xenomorph color scheme. Got my Diamond Karens back there. Got Flying Hive Tyrant, some Tyrant effects. Then down here, I got a little bit, a little bit of my uh, bolt action collection. So got some Shermans, got Americans. I got my Fury conversion. But I have Germans in here, British, Japanese, Americans. Really cool, man. Some tigers. Very cool. I have uh, and some Soviets. We got some Russians in there. Huge fan of bolt action. Just absolutely love it. Warlord Games is just an awesome company. 
make so many cool plastic miniatures. Down here, I have the start of my, uh, what do you call it? Napoleonic armies. So I have the French I'm working on, and then I have some British I'm currently working on. Absolutely love black, uh, black powder. I do Napoleonics, I do Civil War, and I do Zulu Wars. But really cool. Love all the colorful uniforms. Another awesome period of the game. Starting up here. Down here I have a 172nd Metal Gear Rex model kit. Very cool. Put that together. Painted it. Mint copy old school <laughs> Nintendo case of uh, the original Metal Gear pretty awesome model then I have some Civil War these are mostly Perry some foundries in there so I have some Confederates in there and some Union pretty awesome love the Civil War uh, miniatures the next one <clears throat> I have this is like kind of my fantasy Dungeon and Dragon slash Hero Quest. Really, and uh, some Conan the Barbarian miniatures. That was a cool game by Monolith. Really cool. Got these 3D printed off uh, Etsy Hero Quest figures that look more like the artwork and stuff. Very cool stuff. Got some other random miniatures from different games like Hate board game and more Hero Quest found this awesome company <clears throat> that does um their take on the hero quest figures and i got that gargoyle so awesome there's the original gargoyle back there hiding and then you got the their version of their take on it pretty awesome some dragons dungeon dragon stuff but really cool miniatures then i have the protos games um, Alien vs Predator. I don't make it anymore, but got the APC. I'll do another video going into this, but the APC actually magnetized it, opens up this crew inside. Got the King Alien. Very cool. That's an awesome manager. Based on a concept. Got some Queen power loader. And this is the, the Halicon dropship. That's a model. Not in the same scale, but definitely cool. I built it so it can open the pods and everything very cool some face huggers some warrior aliens some predators you see some queens and praetorians in there pretty cool next <clears throat> i got the uh my team yankee american forces love these guys got two apaches i got two eight ten warthogs i got all the dismounts but this is my bradley company with a bunch of m1s really cool i love the bradley's yeah, uh, when I was in Iraq, I was in Bradley's, and I just can't stop loving them. Very good in the game, too. They have everything. But a lot of infantry guys with dragon missile launchers. But really cool game. Love it. I have a Russian army, too, that I'm working on. Pretty cool. Definitely a game to check it out. And those are in 15 millimeter. Got the artillery, the paladins back there. Very cool. Next... <clears throat> I have a nice smattering of uh, Star Wars Legion. So I got my Imperials. Got my Walkers. And then I got Rebels. Really cool game. Love the miniatures. Definitely want to get some more games into Star Wars Legion. Very cool. Nice little. Love the Scout Walkers. It's so awesome. Really great kits. Then last in there. This is my uh, Necromunda collection. I love Necromunda. I predominantly play Vansars, but I have Enforcers as well, Orlocks, Meat Grinder, Colt, Goliaths, and then I have Eschers. So much fun to paint. It's so different compared to the other games and armies, but huge fan of this game. Can't get enough Necromunda. I could literally play Necromunda all day, just game after game, doing campaign stuff. Very cool. Love that. Gang warfare slash Judge Dread feel. Absolutely love it. So that's my miniature cases. I'll go over to my little mess in the corner over here. So I'm just working on some projects. I'm working on the uh, Black Powder American Civil War Epic Battles 
So this is all like 13 to 15 millimeter figs, working on those. Just kind of blasted through them, doing a lot. Got some uh, 20 millimeter Union Sharpshooters from the Perrys. Got some Battle Tech Max I've been working on, some Napoleonic Dragoons. Just finished up some um, 28 millimeter Empress uh, Vietnam, some American M60 teams. Got a giant for uh, Age of Sigmar. Got all my paints. Complete mess. That's how I work. So that's my little paint, little paint station. Over here, got some collectibles. These are my custom Battle Tribe action figures. You gotta check them out on Instagram. Sometimes I uh, sell sets of them, but pretty cool. My own artwork and stuff, conversions. Definitely gotta check them out. So I only have one of each left, but they go pretty fast, pretty cool. You had a chance, check me out on Instagram, uh, Matt Rendar. And under here, I got some of my hot toys. So I got my Wolf Predator from Alien vs. Aliens vs. Predator Requiem and an Alien Warrior from Aliens. Really cool. Pretty awesome. Hot toys are ridiculous. And under here, I have a Sideshow Collectibles Sand Trooper and then a Hot Toys Death Trooper from The Mandalorian. Very cool. Love the Sand Trooper and the Death Trooper. Under here, I got some <clears throat> Bandai kits. Uh, the three in the front I put together and painted myself. So I got the ATAT, -AT, TIE Fighter, and uh, Scout Walker. Bandai kits for Star Wars are ridiculous. They are so awesome. You just, just can't get enough of them. I had to just stop because it would just go on forever and ever. I got a Black Series uh, Viper Probe Droid. It's so awesome. I haven't touched it with anything. That's the way it comes. Pretty awesome. And then behind it, I have Deckard's Blaster from, um, let's see, get a look, from Blade Runner. Really awesome. That was a kit. And then underneath, the recently released uh, Sideshow Collectibles, Baby Yoda. Really cool. Love that. So that's where he lives. Pretty awesome. And last... Is my bookshelf of gaming stuff. I got my my Death Trooper helmet from Anovos and my Sand Trooper helmet. So I troop with the 501st, so I have two uh, uh, 501st approved costumes. I have a Sand Trooper and a Death Trooper. Very cool. So got the little display plaques from uh, Etsy, a maker on Etsy. Very cool. And then under here, I just have all my gaming books. Pretty much World War II, modern. Historicals, Dungeons and Dragons, 40K, Adeptus Titanicus, and then every edition of uh, 40K, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So that's pretty cool. Under here, more Necromunda, extra stuff, aliens, miniature role playing, everything in between. Huge aliens fan, artwork books, and then random gaming role-playing sci-fi rpgs books robotech battle tech starship troopers all types of cool stuff so great so pretty cool I keep a lot of the board games under here and stuff but i have other storage where i keep all the terrain and other stuff but but yeah there's a lot of storage under this table it's pretty cool and uh, some army, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great gaming space. Absolutely love it. So, thank you guys for uh, checking out my video. Like and subscribe, and I'll, I will have battle reports up and some army show off stuff and all types of stuff. Everybody, happy gaming, and have a good one. Bye.